Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Sean Tanktop. I just wanted to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by our patrons. All the people that are signed up on our bar regular tier on our Patreon are watching this video completely full and uncut right now, and you can get early access with them all throughout Season 1 of House of the Dragon and all of our bar reaction coverage if you sign up today. So we hope you guys consider doing that. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and enjoy the video. I want to know what is to be done about my ships and my men. The Crown will compensate you for your ship and crew and make an offering to the men's family. I don't want compensation. I want to seize the stepstones by force and burn out this crab feeder. I am not prepared to start a war with the free cities. These pirates are not the free cities. A seat at the king's table does not make you his equal. I have acted, Corlys. You have dragon riders, father. <laughs> it isn't that simple, Runera. It would be a show of force. Well, at least the princess has a plan. Why don't you take the princess to see about the new King's Guard posting, Lord Commander? A fine idea, Your Grace. This knight will protect you as well. You should choose. Sir Kristen Cole. Son of the steward of the Lord of Blackhead. Be welcome, Sir Kristen. I fought for a year as a foot soldier against the Dornish incursions. Sir Arlen Dondarrion knighted me after we raised two of the watchtowers along the Burnway. I choose Sir Christian Cole. Let's not be too hasty, Princess. There's no doubt Sir Christian is a fine warrior, but houses such as Crickle and Malister are important allies of the Crown. Seaguard, for instance, is the realm's prime defense against reavers from the Iron Island. Those are tawny knights. My father should be defended by a man who's no real combat. Should he not? Of course, Princess. Well, let us plan Sir Kristen's investiture then. <laughs> Your father loves you. He chose you for his heir. He didn't choose me, he spurned Damon. him to see me is more than his little girl. My own father does not know the language of girls either. When I wish to talk with him, I know that I must make the effort. Thank you. Do you have a specific course of action to propose, my lord? Join our families. Wed our daughter, Lena. Unite the two great surviving Valerian houses. With the Targaryen dragons and the Valerian fleet bound in blood, you can show the realm that the crown's strongest days are ahead, not behind. I must admit, I haven't given marriage much thought. 
It hasn't even been half a year since Emma passed. The realm expects you to take a new wife sooner or later, Grace. To strengthen your line and produce more heirs. You could not ask for a stronger match than Layla. best chance to save the digit. No, Grace. The maggots will remove the dead flesh and hopefully stop the advance of the rock. The pain of her passing still haunts me. And to be compelled to replace her for duty's sake. You are the king but I do not envy you. the last minute. Your Grace, it would be a great honour to join our houses as they were in old Valeria. I would give you many children of pure Valerian blood so that we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Is that what your father told you to say? <laughs> what did your mother tell you? that I wouldn't have to bed you until I turn 14. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. Hmm. Oh, I wish that could be Rhaenyra. But the men of the realm already had their opportunity to appoint a ruling queen at the Great Council, and they denied it. They denied you, Princess Rhaenys. The queen who never was. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Do you remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups? Here is the hard truth, which no one else has the heart to tell you. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. And your father is no fool. It seems the realm wants a new queen. A good and kind queen will give comfort to your subjects. Does the small council have a particular lady in mind? Uh, I must admit, I don't know Lena very well. I'm sure that she is good and kind, and that she will enjoy your company, as I have, Your Grace. Mended. This is a, a very kind gesture, Alison. Very kind. Come. <laughs> the hand, your grace. 
It is the pleasure of Damon Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone and rightful heir to the Iron Throne, to announce that he is to take a second wife in the tradition of old Valyria. She is to assume the title Lady Missaria of Dragonstone. Her grace is with child and is to have a dragon's egg placed in the babe's cradle in the custom of House Targaryen. The prince has invited you to his wedding, your grace. <laughs> it is in two days' time. God's has been good. Who is <laughs> Lady Missaria? We believe... Damon's whore. <laughs> this is nothing less than sedition. I strongly agree, sir. My brother wishes to provoke me. To answer, to give him what he wants. The realm is watching, your grace. What would you have me do? Send him to the wall. Perhaps I could put his head on a spike. Damon has seized Dragonstone, has surrounded himself with an army of gold cloaks, and has now stolen a dangerous weapon. Scoria Droman, you apis. Scoria Droman, Damon Latas. So Ives, Darilorus Dariloro Beo, Matsumile, Iverete. Assemble a detachment, Otto. I will go to Dragonstone and drag David back and face justice. Your Grace. My apologies, Your Grace, but I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. Damon is without limit. Let me go to Dragonstone. You're the most comely girl at court. Why do you destroy yourself? Hmm? Will you see the king tonight? You wish it. Good day, Sir Christian. My lady, I've assembled twenty of your best household guards, my lord Hand. Sir Harold will also be on it. Please look after the hands, Sir Christian. 